Well guys, welcome to another cabin episode. And the cabin's not completely done yet. We are to the point where we can actually start to think about overnighters and actually we're gonna do one today. We're gonna get the stove installed because the nights are getting super, super chilly. Courtney's about to be here. Holden's hanging around with me. Looking forward to doing it. Our first overnighter, our first overnighter as a family. Even though, like I said, it's not quite got all the amenities we need. We're getting a lot closer, that's for sure. We've got a metal plate uh, fabricated. We got a little bit of uh, clear coat finish on it, so it doesn't rust. We're gonna move it in. You gotta give a shout out to uh, you gotta give a shout out to Rob. We'll just call him Rob. He, he's Rob that made this for me. He's a good guy. He's now watching the channel because I said, "Hey, go take a look." The wooded beardsman. So he was like, "What's that?" So he looked and he made me this guy. Rob, S just Rob. We're gonna call him Rob. Well, he didn't say to name the company, so I'm not gonna name the company. I'm gonna say, "Hey, Rob, thanks." and this is going to have a great home in the forest. So the reason we got to put a metal plate down is because we got plastic floor, plastic -y floor, vinyl floor. So we can't put it directly on top because he's going to melt the crap out of it. We think it'll be fine if we put the metal just right down on top of the vinyl. If there's some problems, we'll figure it out, but heat rises. So I don't think it's going to melt down below, but we should be able to put the pan just down the corner. It's got a nice cut edge at the front, drop the stove on top, put the stove pipe back in and then we're back in business. Then we can see how hot this place actually gets with all the insulation we put in this place and the vapor barrier and all that stuff. But it's getting chilly. I feel like I need to put a jacket on. Go buy it this way. So uh, we varnished this, actually we lacquered it just to keep its original. We figured if we painted it black, it would uh, probably be too, too much black and it was always looked dirty. So we just clear coated it, it's lacquer. And now it's got the original steel patina. It's, I think it's a 3 inch plate steel and uh, it should serve its purpose well. The trim here obviously is not the same height all the way around. So we're gonna scribe it and we're gonna take off a little bit of it so that it touches the floor where the pan does not. not long enough. You gotta hold this and push this down. Oh yeah. It's pretty close. Well, fire is rocking. I've got our cot set up over here. I'll show you that in a second. We've got a plethora of uh, store-bought foods. That's kind of unique for this channel. You guys aren't used to that. So the fire pan's working really good. It's getting nice and cozy in here. We're actually gonna throw some hamburgers out in the barbecue. Take you guys for a quick peek up in the loft area here. This isn't even done. Those boards aren't even nailed down. We've got cot. You guys saw these before, they're from Teton. Uh, I'll give you guys a link below. They're super, super, super strong, durable. They hold like four or 500 pounds or something like that. So you got one for me, one for Courtney, and a whole one use a roll mat just on the ground. That's probably the safest for him since there's no railing here. Um, why don't we climb up and you guys can have a peek. You can stand up very easily at the top here in the middle headspace I have from here over to here so it's quite lofty enough to sleep well four people if you really wanted to it's about that size we've got a window here it's hot up here already with that fire rocking so we're not going to run it all night it's only early fall now but uh we'll put the mats down here we'll throw a uh, cushion down on top of those the tetons you don't need them but we like to have them yeah let's see if you guys have a have a peek from up here check out that view so you obviously don't want to fall down there. And then we have, of course, 
just our metal ladder to get up and down from the bottom here. So we're gonna replace that at some point with a wooden ladder. Uh, you guys saw the table episode that was built, uh, super heavy. We're gonna make a bench over here and then we have the propane stove here. This is from the demolition of the old trailer. So that's gonna get uh, hosed in soon. I'm hoping before the wheel and saving challenge uh, gassed in or piped in. Uh, we have a uh, gas fitter who can give us a hand with that. So it's gonna run off propane. And so for now we're kind of relegated with cooking over the on the barbecue. Holden just finished a hockey game and we came over right away. So not a whole lot of time to mess around. He's got the ax. He's just, he likes to play around with little things like that. So he's just running around working on his axeman skills. He just kind of runs around the forest and chops some stuff. It's pretty much the safest way to use an ax. Got my uh, squirrel. Did you guys see the squirrel one where we built the tree stand? It's drying out in the tree. I'm actually gonna pull it in because it's supposed to rain tonight. So we'll see if we get to hear that tin roof. We've also got a movie. So we're gonna do our movie night out here. I brought the laptop. We've got our energy battery up running at the dog house there. So we can, we can do whatever we want out here. We'll have lights and all that. So I'm just gonna settle in for now and take a break. I wanna make sure I get this fire stoked up to heat up all the wood in here. So we get it to at least room temperature and then that'll carry our thermal mass. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out and it's giving us a chance to get out here closer to nature. See, this is our view right now in the woods, in the fall woods. And I can zip over there, 10 minute walk and hunt deer. I won't today, but uh, I offered Holden a chance to take out some squirrels and he said, yeah. And I said, do you want to actually kill a squirrel? And he's like, no. So he's not there yet, he's only 10. Don't blame him. Um, I think he would if he was hungry though, that's for sure. My friend's friends here. here. You go show my daddy? No, no, you come here talk. Where are you going? Hi. Hi, how are you? What are you doing? Sitting. Sitting? Can you open the door? <laughs> Hi. Hi. What are you doing? I'm doing good at my house. In your house? I forgot something. Wait a minute. I think I made my burger so big I'm gonna actually have to cut it in half with the knife. Double burger. You guys wonder how this is gonna taste? I'm a burger man. Much as I like the wild game style. Nothing better than a juicy burger. That's good, I was hungry. Hi. Come in. Okay. We have. What do I have? Stuff for the night. It's toasty. Big bag, a little bit of food. Did pajamas. you eat Pajamas, no. You didn't eat? Nope. What did you bring? A chicken breast. <laughs> I had to put the barbecue back on. Holy, this is a dollar store thing. There. What do you got? Is that a glow stick? You can go run around in the woods with that. Yes, let's go. Just checking it out. Looks good. Go put in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. All right, let's go. Woo! Thanks. I don't know if that'll be useful for me. Just feel like I need to eat it whole. Here we go. <laughs> What's your dinner? Uh huh. I got some spalted maple. And some other maple. Oh. And some maple. Some more maple. 
and some maple. <laughs> Come on, Bean. Come on, inside. There, I have to go in my happy place. This is my, this is my happy place right here. <laughs> oh, is there any padding on this chair? This is like the worst chair ever. I was happy until that. What are you making? Pop tarts. Have you ever had a pop tart before? No. Have you ever, have you ever had tetanus before? Hmm? Have you ever had tetanus before? What's that? Well, you gotta find out. Tastes like a cracker. <laughs> Is that good or bad? Whatever. It's like eating a cracker. You're uh, starting the movie night. What movie are you watching? Iron Man 3. Oh, you're watching Captain Marvel. Nope. We're making our way back through the series in order. Chronological order. I see. Not release date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hot up here. I'm used to it. But I like it toasty. You get the window open too? Yeah, all the way open. You can't <laughs> even feel that it's open. There's no draft. We got two cots. Uh, one cot, two cots, and then Holden's going to use a sleep mat. That'll work out. I think we're going to let the fire die out because it's only 12 Celsius. You guys have to convert that on your own. <laughs> but uh, we're just going to let that fire go out. And it'll, it's, it's 12. Like even with all the windows open, that's perfect temperature for me. So I'm happy with that. You happy with 12? Probably not, <laughs> but I'll just stay in my sleeping bag. That felt nice. What felt nice? Peeing. <laughs> I drank a lot of water today. Did you pee? Yeah. Right off the deck? Yeah. Nice. Got my squirrel tail hanging up here, just drying out. It's supposed to rain tonight. Um, did you guys watch the squirrel episode? It's a good one. We built this tree stand out in the forest and got myself a squirrel. So that's the tail. I gotta take the vertebrae, the last little bit of vertebrae out of the tail and then salt it and it'll be good to go. It'll be decoration here. I've got some hairs I cleaned out, uh, actually tanned it, but I didn't want to bring it out here until everything was done because everything just kind of gets in the way and then gets dusty. So tend to intend to decorate the cabin a lot more with various outdoorsy type things, but that's one of them. What's it like out there, buddy? It's hot. Hot? Oh, I'm cold now. <laughs> so weird. It's like... Because the heat rises, it's like 30 degrees, like no joke. Oh, it feels so nice. You can see your breath, look. We've got our cots here. I'm going to use a extra sleep mat. Um, Courtney didn't bring one. She didn't figure she needed one, but I reminded her that I think we've always used the sleep mats on here. Um, you don't need them necessarily. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a hammock-ish. There's nothing really hard in the, on, in the inside. What you reading, buddy? My book. What book? What's it called? Cabin Fever. Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Cabin yeah. Fever? That sounds appropriate. Good book? Yeah. You like How many books have you read in that series? I like all of them. I'm just rereading them. You're rereading them? Yeah. How many books in the series? Take a guess. I don't know. There's like 12. 12 books? What does it look like? The pictures and... Kind of cartoony? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe some mouse droppings up on the window there. But hoping it's not. Um, no fire tonight. We'll let it die out and we'll keep the maybe the downstairs windows open and that'll be fine. And there's a circle window and then just over the edge there's the rest. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we put a railing up? <laughs> you gonna go outside, maybe get the fire started. Yeah. And try. That'd be great. <laughs> you can try. It was super hot up here, but now it's freezing. Oh, it's not raining right now. All right, kids, how did everybody sleep? Huh. <laughs> oh, whatever. Someone moves around a lot, so. I'm on the floor. Yeah. Too too score me. Make too much noise. Yeah. Make too much noise. Me. Right. Yeah. What? <laughs> Everybody made noise. <laughs> <laughs> it's super duper quiet in here without the windows open. It is very very quiet. So anytime we toss and turn on these, even, <laughs> I hear all that. 
But anyway, I don't know. I slept, uh, I slept as normal for camping for me. Quiet it's, here. It's comfortable. Yeah, it's comfy. It's a little tight with three people all the way across, and there's not any space. But I like ideal. We'd have one cot this side, one cot that side, and then a little bit of a space in the middle. And then you could like kind of put, lay something down and hang out in the middle part. What's the plan? Um, we have to leave in about an hour. Holden has dry land training, which is off ice, hockey, exercising. <laughs> and I'm gonna maybe hang around for a little bit here. Uh, there's always different projects to do. I intended to get some access to water today over at the creek. Um, that entails cutting down uh, a little bit of a pathway out here, but I don't know, with this rain, I was, it's all tall grass. I don't really want to be messing around with tall grass out to that little creek. But uh, we're in preps to get uh, the Wilderness Living Challenge going. And uh, we need water. Like right now we don't have any water except for the stuff we're bringing. But there's a pretty good spring fed creek that runs there. It's just can't even get to it because the grass is up over my head. So I was going to do that but I might not be able to. Uh, Kevin's supposed to come down and uh, meet us here with some breakfast so we'll see if that happens if not we'll send these kids off and uh, I've got snacks and stuff I might just eat and maybe do a little quick tidy up well the kids had to take off they couldn't wait for Kevin any longer I'm trying to decide what to do if I just sit and relax here I should have brought my bow hunting stuff could have went back even this morning before sunrise but uh, it's tough with the schedule I try to keep the channel going and and be around for my son's hockey he's on the ice or has something almost every day um, except for four days in this month it's a pretty hectic schedule so I try to get to his practices at the uh, right after school <clears throat> but it'll come a time where I have to miss some of them but Make sure he gets established. He's on a rep team this year, so it's a that's a big commitment for him. It's a big steep learning curve for him. He's got to adjust and you know get back on schedule. So he's got a lot to learn as far as hockey goes and getting along with people and his teammates and his coach and all that stuff. So, but he's getting he's getting there. He's making some headway, but uh, definitely need to have dad around for all that kind of stuff. So I don't want to. Don't want to take off and be too selfish with I what I want to do or need to do or want to do or whatever. But yeah, take it one little bit at a time and chill out and you know make sure that you know he's getting all the things that he needs to be properly adjusted, fit into society, fit into his new group. And yeah, so I got a chance to have a little sit by myself. I don't need to go to dry land training. Uh, I'm on the ice as far as uh, uh, for the practices, just helping out. I've mouse proofed our stuff up here. I just uh, tilt all the cots up on end. We're going to leave them there because Jeremy uh, hopefully is coming out here to do the Wilderness Living Challenge. I'll leave the two cots here. I'll leave my mat and my sleeping bag. I don't have any intentions of doing anything else with it right now, but I don't want mice. I don't see any indication of mice. There might have been a couple turds over there. Uh, but that was when the windows open, so I don't think they're. We didn't hear anything last night. Usually, you know, that's the first indication when you got mice. You got something crawling around and making a bunch of scratching and chewing and gnawing noises. This microwave we got from the RV teardown way, way back, season one of this uh, series. So that's going to be a fixture here. Oh, we may upgrade. We'll see if it works. I, we haven't even tried it, but we'll run that off the generator. Time's running out for me uh, as far as. My schedule goes, the Willis Living Challenge starts in a week from now. So basically I have next week to get this uh, cabin ready to go. I don't think I'm going to be there. I'm not, I don't think going to be where I want to be, um, but we're going to make it work no matter what, because timing is always an issue. Jeremy only has so much time to come up and that's the week he gave me. So that's what we're going to do it. We've got lots of open seasons, deer and, and uh, raccoon and squirrel and just fish and whatever else we want to do. So that'll be all open, but uh, 
Kevin didn't get get me an egg sandwich. I know you guys are hoping for the egg sandwich. He didn't get me an egg sandwich. So he owes me one. I'm just gonna check the Apex battery pack, see how much juice is left. And if I'm reading it correctly, we have 36%. So uh, basically gotta get charged every day. We only really use the lights. Um, that's about it. We, we watched the movie with the laptop and uh, that's it. So this is gonna get have to need it's going to need continuous input.